Hello, Kevin Lang, Combine Product Specialist with Lang Diesel. Uh, today I want to talk to you about the C2100 monitor for Gleaner Combine. This monitor is very similar to the C2000 on older machines, so this video should help uh, both C2000 and C2100 owners. As you can see on the monitor, pretty simple monitor, easy to read. The first thing that jumps out is the picture of the combine, and that makes it really easy to see what your readouts are. The top number is your uh, grain bin uh, current level in bushels. Below that would be your rotor speed. Below that would be your concave clearance. Below that would be your fan choke setting. And below that would be your ground speed. Up above, you have your yield and moisture sensor readings. Uh, up top would be your yield. So it, it reads uh, average and current yield. Um, so the nice thing there is you get an instantaneous read directly uh, for that spot in the field and then it also runs an average so you can reset that counter at any time so if you want to run that average for a whole field uh, for a day whatever it may be um, below that is the moisture and that has the same setup where it can run average um, on your moisture as well as instantaneous to the right there you have uh, engine rpm and temperature if you want to reset any of those uh, you just touch where it shows your yield and your uh, moisture and you come in here and hit the reset button. So you'd maybe want to do that at the beginning of the season, beginning of the day, whenever you're, you're wanting to start counting, um, as well as uh, make sure it's active. So down below that, it also has a reset for your uh, grain tank counter. Uh, so you could reset that if it's reading off a little bit. Uh, below that would be your header readout. So this green bar would be your actual header position. Right now it's saying it's 16 inches. And then the red bar would be your cutoff height. When the header's set below that cutoff height, it's going to record acres counted for your yield monitor. If your header would be above that cutoff height, it's not going to record those acres as harvested acres. Uh, if you want to set that, you just tap on that box. You would actually run your hydro handle and adjust your header wherever you want it to be for that setting. And then just hit set and it will set it accordingly. Uh, down below we have four boxes. Um, those are customizable. You just tap on the box. And then you can pick from a number of things. Uh, common things to put in there would be capacity, boost pressure, um, header tilt, engine load, um, and some, some settings like that. So that's your main work screen that you run most of the time. Um, on your right side here you have uh, a couple different windows you can go to. So the hammer and the shovel in the top right would be your main work screen. If you go down below that, it takes you to our crop settings. Um, so within here, we've, we're already selected on wheat, but we'll hit it again just to confirm. And so that's going to pull up your different crop settings. Now it won't automatically change the machine to those, but it's basically a quick lookup table for those settings. Uh, what it will also do with that configuration is any calibrations you save for your yield and also for your moisture. Um, it'll it'll reload those calibrations so you're you're closer when you get started. Down below that would be just some basic combine settings, um, mostly tied to your uh, yield and acre counter. Um, probably the main one you'd want to update is your header width. Um, the next ones are mostly uh, tied to the the yield monitor, but they're kind of factory settings. You shouldn't have to work uh, too much. Down below that is your actual yield calibration window. So up top you have a yield factor that can be adjusted if you if you feel like your yield calibration just needs a bump one way or the other. You can also fine tune your test weight to get a little bit closer. Uh, but down below that is where you really do your, your true yield calibration. Um, <clears throat> so the first thing you'd go to is your zero point calibration. Um, basically the yield uh, sensor is a paddle at the top of the clean grain elevator and it senses vibrations to read yield. So what you do is you kick in your separator and your header, run it to full RPM and raise your header all the way up. When you've got that going, you hit the update button and it basically zeroes out the calibration, the base vibrations of the machine so that any vibration above that from grain hitting it will read as yield. So you want to make sure you do that first. Um, also, if you're ever going through the field and you get an error saying you uh, need to update your zero point calibration, that would be where you do that. Up above that is your window for your yield calibration. So right now it shows a start button. So we're starting harvest, the first field we get into. We'd come in before we get any grain in the bin. We just hit start. 
uh, we want to reset measured grain to zero. And so we're going to go harvest, and we're going to harvest typically probably a full truck if you have just one machine in the field so that you run that counter for that full truck, you haul that truck to the elevator, get the actual weight, and you can plug it back into the system. Um, if you have a grain cart with scales, you could do it one, one bin load at a time, but typically the longer you can do it, the better. So let's say we dumped a few bins into a truck and we just got done with uh, filling that truck up. We'd come in here and hit stop. And then <clears throat> if we were actually harvesting in the field, it would have a box where we could enter in the actual measured weight. So once that truck gets back from the elevator, you go ahead and key in that scale ticket and it's going to automatically set your calibration for you. Um, now if you've never done this before, you'd maybe want to do it two times in a row to make sure you get a really accurate calibration. The next icon would be your moisture settings, moisture sensor. Um, so the first one's that moisture calibration. Um, if you were reading on your monitor that you're 14 moisture, but the scale tickets are saying 13, you just simply come in here and type in a negative one to offset your moisture uh, sensor to, to match up. Um, you also have your moisture alarm percentage as well as um, enabling that alarm if you, if you don't want it. The next one is just kind of a set of counters. Now this doesn't really tie into um, your main yield mapping per se, um, but it allows you to, to record uh, some yield data. Let's say you wanted to record uh, how long it took you to harvest a field, how many bushels you pulled off of it, and how many acres it was. Uh, you come on in here, you can name it um, anything you want. Um, and then you would want to hit reset so that it starts fresh. And you want to make sure the box is checked for active. Um, once you have that going, um, it will allow you to record that data. Now you can have multiple ones running at the same time. So let's say you want to have one running per field and then you have the other one run for your full harvest. Um, you are able to do that. Your last screen is a service screen. Um, this is where you can see some voltages for your header calibrations. Um, and a few other things. If you had the reversing fan, uh, you'd have an icon here to manually reverse that fan. And then the next screen is just a, a few more configuration items. So like I said, the top right button takes you back to the main work screen. Um, on the left, um, the top left button just kind of takes you into your other menus for some terminal settings and things. The combine always takes you back to this screen. And then the folder takes you to, into your task controller, which we can cover uh, at a later date. So that's a quick rundown of your C2100 monitor. I uh, hope this was helpful, and uh, good luck in your harvest.